The School of Arts and Sciences is proud to recognize Carl Bodenschatz as a 2007 recipient of the Tina and David Bellet Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching Award. Professor Bodenschatz, a senior lecturer in the Department of Statistics, earns high praise from his students for his abilities to use humor and pit basketball metaphors to illustrate and illuminate statistical theories. Bodenschatz's courses give undergraduates the intellectual knowledge they need to face a range of complexities in today's society. I think students need to understand statistics so they can be consumers of information presented through newspapers and magazines and also through professional journals. Statistics is essential to conducting studies in the sciences. And sometimes students expect to just see an equation, okay, now what numbers do I put in where? I can crunch it through the calculator and I want an answer. It's more than that. It's being able to think about which statistical procedures are appropriate, whether the assumptions are satisfied, and how to correctly interpret the results. I try to choose examples that illustrate the statistical ideas that students can relate to and understand pretty quickly. If students can correctly interpret statistical ideas presented to them, then they're better able to think and make sense of the world around them. And since we were interested in the number of students out of the three who opposed the use of funds for student interest groups, Let's call oppose a success. We have choices there. And now the probability of success has to be the same for each trial. And we were given that 40% of students oppose the use of student funds for student interest groups. And that has to be the same for every student. He always tries to relate to something that we can relate to and not just see numbers. He always uses basketball or baseball. It helps to go back and do my homework whenever I look at it and I can apply something that I know to it. Each student is a little bit different. They have different goals, different backgrounds, different abilities. I try to make it a positive experience each time we come to class. I think humor helps break the ice and especially whenever I make fun of myself. If you're really excited about your subject and your topic, then the students may be also. I expect effort from my students and to take responsibility for their own learning. He always gives multiple examples for many things for the same concept, and then he might only change one thing, but it can change the whole problem around, and he'll go through it step by step and go slowly so that everybody understands it. I've experimented with different approaches with technology and collaborative learning, group learning. Uh, sometimes we'll take breaks in class and I'll have students working together and I just try different things. The detailed equations and so on will fade from memory and I realize that. But I hope students take an overall understanding of statistics away and then they can dig out the details later if they need to uh, focus on a particular procedure or technique. Sometimes certain concepts I don't um, grasp right away, but he always takes his time. And then if I don't, if I still don't understand it in that manner, then he'll rephrase it and give me another situation and then give me more examples just so I can really understand the concept. One of the most rewarding parts of being a teacher is seeing the ideas click in the students' brains, in their eyes. It's the interaction and the energy that the students bring to class and that I try to bring to class, and whenever we work together, it's just a really positive experience. I see myself teaching as long as I can. I can't really imagine another profession that would be as rewarding as this one.